Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Adobe Live. It is your boy, Brandon Gross, back here again with you and the your favorite Adobe segment of the day. We are getting started with Adobe XD and I can't wait. I'm so excited, guys. Look, listen, I can't I can't even hide my handkerchief. We just we gotta we gotta polish the tie out here. <laughs> How are you guys doing in the chat? Let me know. Are you guys feeling good? Where are you guys coming or come, where are you guys coming from? What time is it? How are you feeling? Because I'm feeling ecstatic. I've had multiple coffees um, and I've only just woken up a few hours ago. So with that said, we have a very exciting project today. If you guys have not joined us yesterday, we, this is round two. We're going to be focusing on animating and prototyping our iOS gaming platform that we started yesterday. If you guys were here, let us know in the chat. Put one in the chat if you guys were here yesterday. Would love to know who we have. We have Raju, we have Gil, we have N from yesterday. We have Howard. What is good, my man? How are you feeling, man? I'm glad you are the moderator for today. We're gonna have a good day. Um, so, while we talk a little bit about that, and by the way, if you guys missed yesterday, just stay here. You don't have to go to see the other uh, video just yet. You can, but we're going to talk a lot about what we did yesterday to catch you guys up who weren't here yesterday, and then we will get into animating and prototyping. So with that said, I'm saying good morning to the chat. We have quite a few people from here yesterday, but before we get into what we're about to get into, let's get into our schedule for today, guys. All right, let's get into the hot fire that we have for today. So first off, you have me, your boy, Brandon Gross, getting started with Adobe XD at 7.30 a.m. PT. 9 a.m. PT, we have Jesus doing Photoshop Daily Creative Challenge. At 9.30 a.m. PT, we have Carmen Chan doing photo editing. At 11.30 a.m. PT, we have Paul Tranny doing Illustrator Daily Creative Challenge. At 12 p.m. PT, we have Editorial Design with Mercedes. I love that name. 2 p.m. PT, we have XD Daily Creative Challenge with Andrea Epi. 2.30 p.m. PT, we have Draw Along with Kyle T. Webster. I really enjoy saying his full name. <laughs> At 3 p.m. PT, we have Design Off with Voodoo Val and Anna. All right, so that is what we have for today. But now let's get into what we have. We have, I'm looking at the chat, we have Hello from Spain. Hey, guys. Hey, Kyle, Gil, Sylvia. Glad to have you in here this morning. All right, so moving on. What we have for today, we did, just to catch you guys up who weren't here yesterday, we had we did an entire log and sign up flow for our gaming application. In addition to the feed, we did a little bit of the menu. Actually, we didn't get to the menu, but I'll show you guys how, if we have time, how it's made if you guys have any questions, but the main goal of today is to showcase how to animate and prototype all this stuff together and have a really smooth prototype to safely send to our game client. Cool? All right. Hey, what's going on, Laura? Good to have you. We have Tim and Howard in the chat, guys. This is this is an amazing moment. All right. So to begin, where to start off? And ladies and gentlemen, while we are going through anything, there might be some things that I miss, but hold me accountable in the chat. Be like, yo, Brandon, please, you missed something. Roll back <laughs> and I'll explain it, okay? All right, so to begin with, this we have some very simple stuff here. We're gonna start off with our login just like this. Uh, Talin says, I am here for Brandon's enthusiasm this morning. Love it. All right, I'm glad that you, you come early in the morning for Brandon Gross. Uh, okay, so to begin, what we're gonna do is it's all we have pretty similar assets here. We have the same type of buttons. I think the really only difference here is maybe the sign up here and the title. And as you guys know, when we start getting to animating, you have to cross pollinate, as I say, you have to cross pollinate assets so you get nice fluid animation. So we're just gonna start off with our first screen here. For some reason, I always just feel like I need to like make some space between things. Who needs coffee when you can just watch Brandon? Exactly, Howard. Exactly. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I am going to, first off, let me go to my layers just so I can see what's happening. I want this logo to turn, just like scale down a little bit. And to do that, I'm actually going to uncomponent it. And simply, I'm just going to group this. And I just want to make sure that, because as we know, um, XD is very 
very specific about how you name different layers and making sure to animate it correctly that you have um, the same, what's it called? <laughs> the same uh, naming conventions. And in the chat is like, where's the sunglasses at? If you guys were here yesterday, um, you guys missed a, a really fun time. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just going to, actually, I'm, we're gonna do like a little, uh, even before we do this screen, we're gonna do like a little intermittent, like, uh, intermediate phase, like when we open the app, everything comes in and it's like game time. So we're gonna do that. All right, so what we wanna do there is I'm just gonna uncomponent everything because I, I was thinking about it last night and I was like, hmm, I think I wanna do something a little bit different. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually going to, I'm gonna duplicate this control C, control V, and I'm actually gonna delete um, I'm gonna have game there, and I'm just gonna duplicate this by holding Alt and then press time. Oops, not press time. I wish there was a time button. But I'm gonna just duplicate time, because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna converge the two uh, to meet in the center. <laughs> I think this live is much interesting. It is much interesting. Uh, much love. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm actually going to throw this away. I'm just gonna pull this off here, and what we're gonna do is I'm going to copy this, I'm gonna copy paste. I really can group it as well. So I'm gonna just group this, have a new group here. I'm gonna delete what was behind it. Delete, pull this in, and I'm gonna copy this to our previous screen here. What we're gonna do from here now is I'm gonna pull game to one side of the screen and time to the other side of the screen. And what I'm gonna have them do is collide in the center it's gonna be an orange screen to begin with, just plain orange, and then with a timed animation, we're just gonna have everything slide in. Same thing with this, I want this to scale up, and I also want it to rotate a little bit. So I'm gonna add a little bit of rotation just to this little thing here. I don't know what it's called, I call it the rotation, <laughs> the rotation thing. I'm just gonna do a quick like 45 degree I might want to do a negative 45 degree, yeah. Negative 45 degrees here. Hey, what's going on, Sean? Welcome back. All right, I'm gonna turn the opacity down here. And guys, anytime you have any question, because every time that, you know, on day two when it comes to animation, I know there's a quite a few things and there's a lot of different people in the chat in terms of their knowledge of how animation works, et cetera. I'm happy to explain all that. Just pause me, just let me know in the chat. Um, if you have any questions. All right, so now what we're gonna do here, actually we're gonna go back here. I'm going to turn the opacity down of each one. Actually, I can just turn down the opacity of the entire group. Pretty sure that's, that's pretty simple. Boom, boom. And for this, maybe we wanna do like some, some little shifting action just to keep that consistency of the animation going, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Raju was like, we got boop boop in the house. I love that. Is that the, is that, I think we need a, a coined, uh, a coined saying for me to be in the house. What is that gonna be guys? That would be very interesting to know um, what you guys come up for me. Or maybe I'm not cool enough yet. Maybe I don't have the Howard presence yet. Maybe I don't have the Tim presence yet. I'm working up to that. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to prototype. Now that we have our little simple animation set up here, I'm going to go to prototype. I actually wanna make sure that this is the home now, not this one. Um, and we talked a little bit about yesterday, the multiple flows feature that was just implemented. And so if I <clears throat> decide, okay, this is my home here, we have this little thing here where this is dictating, okay, this is flow one. And anything I connect it with, let's say, you know, I just connect it like this. I now can, I can rename this too. I can do login, sign up, flow. And so anything that is connected to this first home screen that I've, you know, I've dictated, I can, if I hover this, I can then pull together the entire flow. So if I just continued for whatever reason, there's no reasoning for this, by the way, I'm just showcasing this. If I decide to click this, Oops. And just drag this over here. I now have those three things that I can move specifically that are grouped within this flow. Just wanted to show you guys that if you were here yesterday. Something fun and original, how about boop? No, Tim, we need our own boop. 
We need our own boop. We can't steal Howard's. See, Howard is already, like, side-eyeing everybody. I, you, you're making me a target out here. Um, <laughs> all right, so let's see. Let's take a look at this first part of the animation, guys. Oh, we did not time it. That's important. So I'm going to click on this arrow. I'm going to click on this screen, this arrow. Instead of tap, we're going to do timing. We're going to do a slight, like, a any, any, any mini trigger time or a delay, like 0.2. And again, all animation is trial and error. If you guys have watched me in the past, you guys know. <laughs> it's all about trying things, seeing what works for the eye. Um, we also wanna make sure our transition type is, uh, or our type of animation is auto animate, super important. So let's see, we have our time, we have a delay, because we want it to sit on the orange for a little bit, um, but just a second. And then we want to do a snap easing animation and then have that be 0.3 seconds. All right, so let's take the, whoa, that was a little fast. Let's do the delay to be like one second. Yeah, that was pretty fast. Let's slow it down a little bit. So that duration, the delay is fine, but that, <laughs> the duration was like, all right, we gotta hurry up, let's get into place. Let's get into place, guys. Um, let's see, we have Sean in the chat, not, <laughs> Tim, I think that might be taken. Indeed it is, guys, we have, I think that's gonna be the, as I'm breaking this down for you guys in the in in this tutorial today, our goal, the chat's goal, okay, is to come up with my boop. <laughs> if not, that's cool too. But this is more important. Okay. So we're here, we have the delay. That was a little slow, but this is what, you know, it's it's trial and error. There's no mathematical equation of um, you know, what is the what is the perfect duration? I have to <laughs> Excuse me. The sneeze. All right, and I because of my sneeze, I totally missed that. Hold on. Boom. That was a little smooth. It's a little slow. Let's let's try like 0 0.5, 0 0.4. Let's try 0.4. Let's see what we got there. Boom. I'm feeling that a little bit. It's a little bit better, but let's see. Let's try one more. I think I just I just need to like see it. Boom. What I'm gonna do really quick, just so I don't have to keep opening and closing, this is something that I do uh, for myself, is I just do a really quick, uh, I just pick a random element on the page that it animates to, and I just drag it back to the original. So if I can click on it, I can just stay in the prototype just to be like, hmm, okay, okay, I think that might be able to work. So let's see, I'm gonna go back. We're here, I'm gonna click this to go back, and let it time out. Okay. I think that kind of works, guys. How do you How do you feel about that? I think it would be kind of interesting if the game time kind of like go from small to large, I think. Let's try that. Let's try that out. Howard said, <laughs> we have pow in the chat. I like pow. Um, I can't, Tim said a, I think a German word. I have no idea. Howard seem, says he seems like a bam kind of guy. I think it's like a boom or a bam. I think we're, I think one of those, one of those is completely fine. All right, let's try this out. So I want to go back to my design here. I'm gonna find my little titles and I'm gonna scale them down just a little bit. I'm gonna select both. Um, actually, I'm gonna do one at a time. I'm sure there's probably a more efficient way of doing this, but I'm just scale this down. I'm gonna check the font size. We have 48. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna just downsize this just the same. Animate, let's see what, we, let's see what happens. Okay, there was a lot fast, boom. You know what, that's interesting. I guess if, I ch if we change, I actually, t I'm not even gonna lie, I think I like this better. I think this is less movement and it's a lot more simple. Um, <laughs> telling in the chat the same boom. I think we might stick with this. Ha happy accidents, ladies and gentlemen, happy accidents. I think because, uh, first off, let me explain to you what happened. Um, you know, when you decide, I actually didn't know this. Um, let me find my, Grab my type here, if I can find the correct layer. Oh, maybe it d ended up disappearing. Oh, oh, that's why, okay. All right, let's see. Let's try not to delete it this time. Let's see what happens. Okay, we had a little bit. I think that's still jarring. I think what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna stick to, I'm actually going to pull this off the board because I liked this animation. It was a lot simpler, there wasn't, okay, what happened there? We're not doing that. We're just gonna cut it. There we go. 
and I think now it's just gonna yeah that's much that's much smoother we're gonna stick with that awesome so that's our first animation I think maybe what we might be able to do too is instead of having them slide maybe we have them scale up that might be something that we play with towards the end but we're on a good we're on a good we're on a good pace now Mensa good morning beautiful people good morning Mensa <laughs> Ricky says I got here late what I miss you missed just enough. You're in time. You are in time, my friend. We've only animated one page. All right, so next, let's get into how we want this login screen. Again, we still have some simple, we still have this asset that we can translate over to this screen. So let's, let's figure that out. This was, <clears throat> if you were here yesterday, we didn't make these components just for the sake of time, dragging them out. Um, <clears throat> and I actually, you know, on my part, I did name the components a little, uh, a little differently so we're gonna just for those of you guys who are coming are brand new today no worries you guys are gonna basically get a, a rework of what we did so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take this logo I'm gonna copy it into this and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scale it to the size of this only because the naming conventions are off um, from the previous screen this logo is not the same name as this and just to make it easier for myself I know I could just rename some stuff but um, <laughs> with my dyslexia we'll be spending the entire time doing that so I'm just gonna copy and paste all right so we have width and height 104 I'm just gonna lock this ratio here and just do 104 Ooh. actually we might we might just do we might just ungroup it and let's just hope that the name convention group 2 and Brandon gross logo white awesome so I'm just going to group this and I'm going to name the group the same as this. So we have group 24 and group 24. Now guys, in real world, you guys would be spending time naming your folders correctly, not group 24, trying to kill the rest of your design teammates and giving them headaches. But for the sake of time and just showing you how to animate things, um, I, I prefer that. And I'm sure you guys prefer that too. Seeing me type my name 24 times is not... I'm sure that's not what you guys came here for. Okay, so we have that. Now it's time to pull some of these assets over from this side of our, um, from this screen over to our screen over here so we can animate things nicely. So I'm gonna take, I'm just gonna select all this stuff. Boom, boom. I'm just gonna paste it on over to my previous screen. Again, Adobe XD is super simple because it's like, <laughs> because it's like it is sequential animation so whatever I want to go from from this state to this state I just have to say okay this element is gonna start here and it's gonna end up here so if we want the elements to start or end here where are they gonna start um, and it can be as simple as turning the opacity down that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do with these buttons or these input fields uh, forgot password. I'm just going to turn down the opacity and guys as we continue to go through this We will have more time to make things more complex But what I don't want to happen is us just do a whole bunch of complex things and not even finish the full prototype What's going on Andreas? All right, so we are going to actually pull We're gonna turn the opacity of this down and we're just gonna we're gonna do a little bit of movement. We're gonna take these logo, these social media logos, and we're gonna pull them down along with this sign up thing. So I'm gonna pull these down just like this. I'm gonna pull them down here, and then I'm gonna turn down the opacity. And just so you guys can see what that turns into. So when I click login, I'm gonna go to prototype. I'm going to, oh, login is not part of that screen. <laughs> I was like, why is there two logins? I'm gonna turn the opacity of that down as well. So when we click login here, we're gonna go to prototype. We are gonna pull this little arrow over here. Perfect. Make sure it's on auto animate. We have snap and our duration is 0.4. Perfect. So let's check this out. And also just because, again, um, I'm gonna undo that because that doesn't make sense. I always like to drag, like a random element to drag back so I don't have to keep opening and closing the prototype uh, screen. Okay. Boom, play, login. All right, let's go back. Let's see. 
All right, so our logo is good. It has a nice little, it just like shortens up there very nicely. All right, let's see, boom. Not entirely sure if I dig how the login and sign up um, go away. I think what we might do is just the way that they came in here, right? Because they did like a little switch, like up, down. I think we might do the same thing on this screen so that they, with the way that they come out, we want them to, or the way that they came in, we want them to go out. So we are going to copy this. Or rather, we're gonna grab our group 10, group 11, which are our little things like that. Or we might actually just grab the entire group. The entire group, we're gonna just grab the entire group 12. We're gonna bring it over here. Let's see. Dun, 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 dun. And this is where it's really important to be as organized as possible because when you start animating, you have a whole bunch of different layers. Designing stuff, really easy. But then when you, you know, you have, uh, you know, a whole bunch of different, um, different things you're working with. And I'm gonna turn the opacity up on here just so I can see where my buddies are at. Perfect. All right. And they are in the correct place that I want them. And now just to explain what I did there. Um, I took group 12, which is basically the, the login and sign up that in their previous state when they're juxtaposed like this and then they come to the center, all I did was I took this group 12, which they are, I copied it and just pasted it to this other artboard and they're gonna be in the same exact place in which they um, were on the first screen. So now if we take a look at it, log in, Oop, missed that. Oh, they're still going down, let's see. Why are they going down? Dun, dun, dun. All right, what is this? This is the game time logo. I'm gonna turn this all the way up so I can see what's up. Dun, dun, dun. We're gonna delete that. And this is the troubleshooting, guys. This is the part of, I feel like every time I've animated, it is not a smooth road. It's, you just have to know how to master it is by doing it <laughs> and just using your eye to see what looks good. Hey, what's going on, Candia? Happy to have you. All right, let's see. What do we need? I'm gonna check one more time where we're at. Log in, boom, those still go down. I have to find why those go down. Because they should not be going. Oh, that's why, they're right here. Wanna delete those? Perfect. The reason why you need to organize your layers, guys. Because everything on my thing is just because of the sake of time. I'm not being su as super organized as I can be because I wanna show you guys what's up. So this should work. So boom, goes in and out the same way. We have that nice little animation, okay? Perfect. There we go. And for those of you guys thinking like, why does the logo go back to this screen? It's only just so I can uh, troubleshoot. It's not for real prototyping purposes, it's just so I have to, don't have to keep click, click, clicking close and open. <laughs> Mensa says, dupe. <laughs> Hello from Argentina. I'm see Elizabeth says, I'm seeing many familiar faces. Makes me happy. It does for me too. All right, so we have pretty much this screen. Now it's pretty similar for what we're gonna have to do for the new user screen. Except there's just a few more, uh, there's like one more input field. Um, well, really two. So now we're gonna go back to this screen if we decide to sign up. We're gonna go back to prototype. We're gonna click on this sign up component here. We're gonna drag this on over to new user. And just like we did before, I'm actually going to copy. We're gonna do the same thing that we did. We're gonna copy our little juxtaposed login sign up that we used in our login screen here that are opacity zero. I'm gonna copy that, paste that over here. And I am going to, I have to uncomponent this because I need to make sure that the naming conventions are the same. So we have group 24. So all I need to do here is group this and call it group 24. Let's see, there's people in the chat saying, <laughs> Howard, 
Where is the master class? Um, guys, there's a master class right here. No, I'm playing. Nobody can replace the Howard. Let's see. All right, so where are we at? We have our little juxtaposed login, sign out. What we need to do now is we need to add all of these other bits here to our screen here so that they actually animate just like we did with the login. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure all this stuff is grouped as needed. Perfect. All right, so I'm gonna select all this just to make it simple. All this goodness, I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna paste it back on our original login sign up screen. And I'm just gonna turn everything the opacity zero. Now this is where things get really confusing because we have one screen able to push to login and new user and this screen has a lot of layers. This is when organization is key and we'll get to that later. <laughs> but I just wanna let you know, things can get extremely complicated. All right, so we have our login, perfect. We have our sign up, that works too. I just, again, I'm gonna use our prototype thing here just so I can, for troubleshooting purposes, I'm gonna make it so that the logo drops me back to our main screen so I don't have to keep going in and out. Play, sign up, boom. There we go. Now there is something happening a little bit funky with password. Password is not animating, and I guarantee you it's because of a naming convention. Um, so let's see, what else is not animating? We have the sign up that's animating, which is nice. Date of birth is not animating, so we're gonna have to check that out. Basically this entire area. And so login isn't animating either. So we'll do one thing at a time. So we'll start with password and date of birth, and I read all the terms. Let's go ahead and check. Dun, dun. You know what, I'm gonna undo everything because I think there might be a little bit of smarter way and a cleaner way, especially since I'm copying and pasting a lot here. We're gonna do some organization, some organization tips, guys. So I'm gonna go back to design. I'm gonna copy all of it, or not copy all of it yet. I'm gonna group all of this first, just like this, so that when I copy this over here, I only have to deal with one folder and I can animate that however. Um, and the animations will apply here. So I can just turn the opacity down this, on this entire group and let's just check this out. All right, boom, I'm gonna make this logo go back to our previous screen here. <laughs> Elizabeth said that is a very shiny screen, t green screeny tie you got there, Brandon. I love it, it's actually gold. You guys can't see it in the chat because it's reflecting everything, but it is gold. It does reflect things, but I dig it. I dig it as well. It's part of my costume. <laughs> okay, so here we go. That works, and I think we might just keep it as simple as that, guys, at least for now. We can get com complicated a little bit later. But for right now, this is what we need. I think that nice smooth of the logo is... Uh, is good enough for this. Where we're gonna be spending a lot of time is in this portion here. This is a very, very long screen. Um, this is what it looks like here. And there's a couple things that I wanna work with you guys on, which is the menu, the toggle here, the animating of this row, um, and a couple other things as well. Um, we also have the animation of the menu, which is go going to be really tricky. Um, or not really tricky, I, I think we can do some really awesome stuff there. So I want us to get through the whole app and then we can go back. Put one in the chat if you agree. Easy on the tie, folks. It's also a Chinese star. What? I don't even know what that means. St stage one of the cyborg costume, exactly. Guys, um, if you guys don't know my personal brand, we have a lot of things in the work in the works. So if you follow me on Behance where I live stream every Friday, we have a lot of awesome things coming. So that, that's just a little plug there, a little plug. All right, so let's continue. So after we hit login and or sign up, we are going to go over to this screen here. And same thing, if we sign up here, we are gonna go over to this screen, ta-da. Now we can do a little bit, we can go even further where if we wanted to mimic someone inputting something, which is totally easy to do. And to do that, 
Um, the reason I kind of skipped that is because it is, it is so easy. But th there might be someone in the chat who needs to see that. So I'm gonna go back to design. I'm gonna just move this over and I am going to, let's see. I wonder if I just change the name because I know, I know that a glitch might happen. Brandon Gross. <laughs> Be gross. And then password. Let's try that. All right. So what we're going to do is if we click, or if one of our users clicks username and email, it's just going to pop over to this, have it pre-filled, and then when they click login, then we can pop on over to our feed. <laughs> Lizzie says, why did I join so late? It's okay. We have, still have a long way to go. We still have a lot to learn. Have no fear. We have the team here, guys. This is everybody in the chat. Don't forget. Don't, guys, don't forget to hit that like button. We, have some, we still have a long way to go. So even if you're joining now, we have time to ask questions, to learn, to peep what's really going on. All right? Okay. <laughs> Back to seriousness. Kind of. All right, we're gonna play this. We're going to go back to here. I wanna make sure that nothing actually broke. Okay, cool. So we click that, we get the B gross, we have our stars, we click login, and we have this. We're gonna do a little bit more fancy than this. We're not just gonna have a fade in to the coolest, um, the coolest portion of this application. And I'll show you guys how I was able to actually um, have this scroll and have everything fixed. So have no fear. You guys, if you're just now arriving, you've come to the best part. You've skipped you've skipped the other things that are super easy. Later you can rewind. All right, so what we're gonna do here, because we kind of want our, we want everything to animate out smoothly. So what we're gonna do here is we are actually going to, this might mess up a little. Actually, I don't think it will mess it up at all. So let's try this. Try, we're gonna test something out together, all right? I am going to, I'm going to delete this here. I'm gonna delete some of my, uh, oh, we, I forgot to uh, prototype something. Okay, so if, let's say we still have this sign up bar here. If we wanna let some of our customers, if they accidentally click log in, they're like, okay, um, I didn't mean to be here. <laughs> If they wanted to sign up instead, we can go to prototype. We can easily just select that component and just pull this on over to the new user screen. And I'm a little worried about what this is gonna look like because some of the naming conventions might be the same because a lot of the assets are the same. So don't, don't cry, just let's see what happens. Okay, that wasn't that bad. I was a little worried. It's just a, a simple transition, but let's see. What we want to do, just like we did with, I'm gonna go back to design here. Just like we did with this grouping and we put it here, we're gonna do the same thing. We're going to copy, paste this on over here, and we're just gonna turn the opacity down. So this should be a little bit smoother. And just for the sake of not having to open and close, open and close the prototype thing, we're also gonna make sure that, oh, it's already pushed to here. Oh, we don't need that though, it's a different screen. So we're just gonna push it here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna play this. We have our login, we're gonna do sign up. We can make that, let's see. We can make this a little smoother. But again, let's do the cool stuff first and then go back to the simple versions. You guys dig? <laughs> the, <laughs> Mensa says the, the tie needs Morpheus shades. I, I don't disagree. Um, I do not disagree at all. All right, let's see. Let's get to let's get to my favorite screen here, guys. Deep breaths. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to design here. I am going to pull this. I'm going to undo kind of what I did here. So this is one of the new features in Deck XD. One of the second um, newest because multiple flows is the newest feature, I believe. And then horizontal and vertical scrolling was the last update. So if y'all have an updated update today. So I'm just gonna undo that. I'm gonna show you guys how I did this. Okay, I'm gonna pull my menu. I'm gonna keep my menu there. 
and let's begin this simple transition. So we're going to transition from here, prototype. If we log in, we're going to click this component here. Wait, it's this one. Boom. We're going down to our feed. Okay. So just like we've done in the past, we need to have these elements over on this screen. So it's some nice animations happening. So what we're going to do is, let's see, how do we want to do this? I have not thought about this yet. I'm not going to lie to you. How should we do this? Eldon says, your, I think your tie is perfect, though. Thank you. Much love. Much love, guys. I appreciate that. All right. So we're going we're gonna to try a couple things here. We're going to learn some things together. So I'm going to copy a, or I'm going to select a group of things here. Boom, boom. Let's see. I'm just going to grab like a large group of things. Hmm. We'll do one thing at a time. We'll do one thing at a time. One, two. Okay, there we go. Actually, I just want to, I just need to like grab this. Let's see. Well, let me grab all that. Perfect. I'm actually going to move this out of the way because I'm going to do like a large grab. For some odd reason, actually, um, as I've been trying to like do massive grabs, I have seen um, some... I'm not sure if it's just mine, but there has been some, like I can't see what I grabbed, which is interesting. I'm actually, group, perfect. I'm gonna take all of group 27 <laughs> and just paste it on our, our board right here. And so what I'm gonna do here, there's a couple things that need to happen. And I think before that, one thing I noticed, if you guys see this, why there's like see through here, it's because I actually, the appearance of the actual board underneath is a color. And I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna make a rectangle that fills the entire background here. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the border off. I am going to make it this color and I'm just gonna send, send it to the back by hitting control shift and left bracket. Easy day. And I'm just gonna put this inside of our group 27. So now this should be fine. I'm going to take all of this. I'm going to copy. I'm going to go here. I'm going to paste it. Perfecto. All right. You dig? Now I can come in here and I can animate everything as needed. I can pull this over to the side here. I can turn the opacity down. Um, how do we want this stuff to come in? Maybe we'll just turn the opacity down with this stuff. Maybe this can come from the top. Just a little bit. Turn the opacity down. I'm going to take all of this stuff over here. We're going to pull this off to, I'm going to pull off to the side just a little bit here. Feed. Hmm. I'm just going to turn the opacity down. With this, what we might do is we might let, do a little juxtapose, little cross thing just like this. We might try that. Or maybe it might be a little bit more natural if this just goes up. I'm not entirely sure. But we will figure it out as we go. And we're going to turn the opacity of this down as well. So I'm going to select these both. Oops. I'm going to select all of these babies. Turn it down. Turn it down, guys. <laughs> Why did Brandon copy and paste items on the other screen to make them transparent? Lindsay, that is a great question. I will explain it in just a bit, but with stuff like this, just to go back for those of you guys, because I know you guys, some of you guys have just popped in. So with Adobe XD, animation is sequential. So always think, okay, I want, if this is the screen that is, I designed, right? With animation, there's steps. So if I want my uh, designs to end here, right? This is the position I want them in. What I did is I copied this over by holding alt I'm gonna just delete that let's pretend that this is that screen and all I did was I moved all the different assets so for the logo I I scaled it down if you guys can see this I scale it down and I rotated it that way when I I'm gonna just turn it down again that way when we actually go in here I'm just gonna uh, play that one more time I'm gonna set this up just so I don't have to keep opening and closing the player so now, as you guys can see, the logo rotates in, into everything, into the position that I have on this screen. So for 
the, that question particularly, like, always think, okay, I've designed my screens, that's why you design first. And then you're like, okay, now I can think about animation. Now I can think about uh, prototyping um, and having, you know, start thinking through the motion that you would like to see. That's why I copy and paste different assets to, um, from one screen to another, because we have to think about the transition from point A to point B. I hope that answers your question. Let's see, all right, back to where we were at. We were over here because we were finding things to animate. So we're gonna, actually, I'm actually gonna go here really quick. I'm going to turn these puppies down, their opacity. I'm gonna just shift click everything and simply just turn down the opacity on everything. Now, when it comes to a lot of this stuff, guys, I'm just turning the, opac the opacity down. This, I think maybe we can just have it pop up. So I'm gonna push that down and turn the opacity down. This, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna select all this. And of course, I could, I could totally group this, um, but I'm not going to because I'm a little worried about naming conventions of the previous layer. We totally could though. Like if, let's just do it just so I can show you guys because some of you guys might get confused because we are doing a lot of complex things and I will take time. Um, you know, there's a lot of questions around why I'm copying and pasting things here and there. So I will go a little bit deeper as to why. Linz Lindsay says, oh, that makes sense. Awesome, cool. <laughs> I'm glad. I was worried that I didn't explain that well enough. I'm glad you guys uh, got that. Okay, cool. So I'm just gonna take this, I'm gonna pull this down as well, just, just a tad bit. And pull it down a little bit more and turn the opacity down. And I think that's what we're gonna do for the majority of this. We're gonna just, we want the animation to just pop up or go from the bottom to the top. And I'm just gonna do that for the majority of the stuff that we have here. I'm gonna just pull it down, turn the opacity down. And another thing, I'm gonna just select all these. I'm gonna pull these down. I am going to, I'm just gonna do this for one more cause it's not gonna, it's not gonna matter. I'm gonna just turn this, I'm gonna push this down, turn the opacity down, perfect. And for the rest of this, I think I can, I think I can just turn the opacity of the rest of that down. And grab this last one. Uh oh, what is this? There we go. Okay, cool. Now bear with guys, we will see what this looks like. This is why I say animation is trial and error, especially when you're doing complex things. So this is why I always like to, if I'm trying to transition to this layer while we are, I always like to go into prototype. I like to click on a random component. Uh, I'm just gonna do the time for right now. Again, it has nothing to do with um, the actual animation we'd be doing for a client, but for troubleshooting and seeing what's working, what's not in our animation, the timing, I like to, pick a, uh, you know, a random component and pull it back so I can go back and forth in terms of our animation. And I'll show you guys. So when I click log in here, all right, so a lot of that worked. <laughs> I was scared, I was like, man, a lot of this is not gonna work. <laughs> but so far it looked pretty good. We click log in, we have things coming in, we have our nice stories fall fall in, we, ha we can move them, I'll show you guys how we, we've done that. Um, let's, let's, let's go back and see, that looks pretty good. Let me, ah, that deserves another one. Guys, right there, boom. How you guys liking that? All right. <laughs> Elizabeth says, this is the second stream I've had with Brandon. I see, I sense a theme of gaming. Uh, totally, I'm a gamer, I love it. Uh, I, I wish I had more time to game. Um, you know, I'm a little sad and Howard has not joined me, allowed me to join his, uh, I forget what it's called, Animal Crossing? It's not Animal Crossing. Maybe it's Animal Crossing, I have no idea. He has not joined me, let me join his world. <laughs> I'm joking. Okay, cool. Ariana says, yes, that worked really well. Yeah, I was, I was saying, I was, I was whispering wishes of good luck to me on that one. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, now that the animation looks smooth enough, we don't have to do too much to be complex. Uh, we're gonna go back to design really quick. And what we're gonna do here is we need to get our menu back in the game. What we need to do is we're gonna pull this. We're gonna bring our menu back. Because now one complexity at a time, if you try to do too much, it's very hard to troubleshoot and be like, okay, a lot of things went wrong. How do I fix this? 
<laughs> it's hard to do that. So we're gonna go back in, we're gonna bring our menu back in because this, this has a little bit more complexity in it and what we're gonna do to it later is a little complex too. It looks like that's the reason. Uh, it looks like the reason you're not allowed to join if you can't remember, exactly. I was like, can you just let me join your farm? And he was like, that's not it, that's not the game. And I was just like, ha! <laughs> um, I don't think Howard's here to defend him, defend himself any longer about why he's not letting me join his world. <laughs> My invitation is still standing. Um, it's yet to be accepted. Let's see. So now what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to pull my artboard all the way up to this line, which is basically everything above the fold, okay? Because what we're gonna do, <clears throat> I'm gonna pull this here, just make sure it's touching there. And what we're gonna do here is I might make another group within a group which might mess things up again. Um, yeah, let's, let's, let's back up, okay. Because what, what we're going to try to do, I'm gonna just control Z everything, is we want this to be able to scroll, but I kind of want, um, you know, the news feed, every, everything up top here, I want kind of to stick. Just like we did with, let's see, I did not save it, I deleted it. Okay then. <laughs> All right, we will, we will start from ground zero. So I'm gonna select everything just like this. I'm gonna deselect that background layer. I'm gonna group this. I'm gonna call this, uh, this is called, called group 28. Uh-oh. I'm gonna undo that. I just want this, I want this background. All right, I want this, this, the stories. Let's see, okay, we got that selected. I want the, the feed, I want the fire, and I want these two separators here. Let's see if I can select them. Separator one, separator two. All right, let's check this out. All right, but we do not need the status bar. I'm gonna take that out. Cool, so we have this. I'm going to group that. And I'm going to push it, I'm gonna pull our status bar, if you guys are seeing in my layers here, it kind of got pushed back. So we're gonna push this up. All right. This might mess a lot of things up, um, but I'm willing to show you guys that this is not a smooth road. Uh, we're, we're learning live with you guys. All right, so we're gonna take this group 28. I am gonna have to group the same exact things here, um, which might be very, challenging. Actually, we'll, we'll make this easier. We'll make this easier on ourselves. I'll show you how to do what I'm trying to do in, individually on another screen, not for the prototype. Just so you guys can go away with that knowledge of knowing how to do this stuff um, without complicating the, the prototype that we're trying to do here. Cool? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Howard says, I may or may not have time traveled a while back to complete the mushroom set. Oh man, I need to go back and, and read these comments about the, Howard, why haven't you accepted this request? <laughs> I love playing all types of games, guys, including made up ones. Um, okay. So we are here, the thing that we're gonna do just to save time and, and confusion, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put our, I'm selecting our group that we have here, and I'm going to select our vertical scroll, which is super simple, and it does everything for us. What I'm gonna do, because this is gonna mess some things up, man, um, because our scroll bar, or our, um, what is this? Guys, I can't remember what this is. The status bar, that needs to be up there. So what I might end up just doing, I'm gonna control Z this, I'm gonna pull everything, I'm just gonna take the status bar out. And I'm going to put that just on top. So that with this, we can make our vertical, and this is what we can do. So this is what vertical, uh, it's a little funky up here. We need to have that fixed. Yeah, we don't want that. This is where things get a little funky, guys, because this is this is basically what I'm trying to have us do, because it's much easier outside of the prototype, and I have done this already. So if I decide to grab all of this here, 
I group it. Awesome. I'm just gonna put it behind everything. And guys, I'm showing this to you because I want you to see what I'm trying to achieve. It just gets funky when we're starting to animate things and there's a lot more work involved into making everything smooth, not only the animation, but the prototype as well. But this is the result that we're trying to do just so you can see how this is done. So this is just another example. We're gonna pull this in to our Actually, I want to make sure that this is grouped before we move forward. It is perfect. I'm going to control Z. All right, now I'm going to pull our entire artboard up just to this. If we had more time today, guys, we would have easy time showing, showcasing you the exact way to do what I'm trying to do here. Because if I just do it on this artboard, it's simple. So all we do is we have this grouped, right? And we have this top piece grouped, right? And all I'm going to do is this top piece, I want static. Regardless of whatever we scroll, we want that to stay there. And this bottom piece, we, that's the only thing we want to scroll. So we have this bottom piece selected. We're going to select our scroll vertical. And we're just going to, that's it. We now can just move this entire thing independently from everything else. And we can do the same thing with our stories here, right? It's all we had to do is if we go into the stories, we have the horizontal scroll selected. So it, it's that simple. This is what happens when I turn it off. I won't be able to, I won't be able to scroll it. It's just static. But if I just click on the element, hit horizontal scroll, it's a done deal. All right, you just press play. I can easily do it like that. So that's what we're trying to achieve, but because of the complexity and the other screens involved in the animation, it takes a little bit more time. It's not impossible, um, but it's going to be challenging with the rest of the time that we have today. Okay? All right. So let's just, let's recap where we are here. Just check in the chat to see how you guys are doing. How much time do you set for the smooth transition between layers? It's a great question. Again, I don't, I don't like math. Granted, this is why I have an accountant. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know, simple math is good, but a lot of what I do is trial and error. And I think when you talk to a lot of other, not a lot, but some other designers, there's not one way of doing things. I do a lot of stuff by eye um, and just trial and error. <laughs> the Animal Crossing is the funniest part of this stream today. It makes my day. I'm glad. Okay, so we can go to login. Oh, I see. It just transitioned there. Did we undo? Let's see. Boom. Why does it not take? Oh, that's why. I'm gonna put the status bar back in. I wanna make sure because we did make some changes here. I'm gonna ungroup this. Because the changes that we made, it did make, okay, there we go, yes. All right, so we have our stories. We lost a little, some of our animations here, so let's make sure that we get that. This is called the base card. We have a component here called profile name and time. All right. I think we might just leave it at that, guys. We can always go back. Again, we have about, let's see, how much time do we have? 25? What's 25 plus 25? Was that 50? We have about 30 minutes, and we still have about two-ish screens to go. So we'll just keep this simple. We're going to do the menu, and then we'll work our way backwards. I think that's good enough. All right, so now we want to go from our feed screen to our menu. So when we click this, we want this to show up. I'm gonna push this off to the side here. And we are going to begin. This is gonna be this is gonna be fun when I didn't did this on purpose because I was like, I have no idea how I'm gonna do this, but it would be really cool if we could do this on stream. And I wanted to show you guys um, how I work through it without ever having to have done this before. Um, obviously on other projects, but just not this. So what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna to try to be a little bit organized. So we have this entire group. Uh, one thing I did miss is we need to bring our menu bar from here. I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit. Turn the opacity down. There you go. 
All right, perfect. So now we're gonna focus on this. A lot of this, again, for, if you guys remember, the first thing is to, okay, this is what I'm trying, what I've designed. Now, how do I get from this screen to this screen? What is the animation that I want to have happen? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull, um, I'm gonna take, I really only have two groups here. I have my supposed layers and I have my uh, menu options. What I'm gonna do here is I'm going to, and I also have my orange. So we'll start like this. I'm gonna copy and paste everything that I have here and I'm gonna put it here. What I'm gonna have to do is I'm going to have to, uh, let's see. We have to think about this live a little bit because this, this is a little bit of a tricky one. Because what we want to have happen basically is we have the orange underneath. Basically we want this entire group to move over and be one of these. And what's underneath is the orange as well as uh, the menu option. So this actually might be a little bit easier than I thought. So I'm gonna copy this and paste this here. And I'm gonna just pull this over. And I might, let's see what happens if I scale this down. It's gonna, it's gonna mess some things up. However, let's see, let's just pull. Might just do this here. And we're gonna do a trial and error, guys. Um, I think we might need like an inter, like an intermediate, I can never say that word, <laughs> an intermediate screen so that this can push over. And then, let's see, let's work through it. So I'm gonna bring my orange here, I'm gonna bring it to the back by holding Control Shift, left bracket. I'm just going to look, I'm gonna pull everything that I have off to the side just so I, so I can see what's going on. I'm gonna take my entire menu options here. I'm gonna copy it and then paste it to the back. And the reason why it's easiest to copy and paste is because when I pull from this board and I copy it onto the other screen, it stays in the exact same position rather than having to drag um, all the little things over. Wait, XD should, oh, okay. <laughs> Isn't it easier to fix the header position instead of using scroll group? I'm not entirely sure what that means, but again, there's a whole bunch of different ways to do exactly what I'm doing here. Um, Jay, welcome to the chat. It's okay if you're late. There's gonna be a replay and you're here with us now. All right, let's see. So we're gonna pull this on over to the left. We're just gonna get like a very um, intermediate animation here so I can see what's happening. So I'm also gonna push this to the back. So this, if we look at our layers, we have our background, which is our orange. We have our list of menus. We're gonna pull this right below everything. And I'm just gonna pull this off to the back here and I'm gonna pull this back on top. So now let's see what we have. Oh, I don't think I made an animation, I don't think. So I'm gonna go to prototype. I'm going to click on my little menu here, if I can, let me zoom in. Boom. And I'm gonna drag this on over. And again, there was a there was a question in the chat a little bit earlier. What is the duration and what is the easing that I'd like to use? I love snap, I have no idea. Maybe it's because I like snap peas, I have no idea. It sounds cool, I have no idea. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. Um, I have no idea what the difference is between ease out, ease in, and ease in and out. I'm just like, those are, to me are like the same. And um, again, it's by eye. It's like, do you, you know, I've used wind up and bounce. I like unique movements, but in some cases, ease in and ease out, they're perfect. Um, but I like like quick snappy things. Um, I think it always looks unique. So that's why I, I, I tend to stay around snap. However, you might feel different with your prototypes. And in, everything is not the best in certain situations. So we're gonna do like a 0.4 to start off with the durations. And we're just, we're gonna test this out, see where we are. So we're gonna click this. And, ooh, I think, we, <laughs> I think we're done. <laughs> Ta-da. <laughs> All right, but the question is, how do you go back? Okay, we'll, fi we'll, we'll, fi we'll figure that out. Maybe, 
<gasps> oh, that's exciting. Maybe we can drag this back, like the black. That would be interesting. That would be interesting. So what we're gonna try here, this is a little bit new for me. And this, this is why I like, I think I'm really unorthodox. A lot of people are like, we want to learn from the masters. Guys, I'm still learning. And I think the power of, um, I'm always learning. The power of, I'm even trying to push myself on stream, right? And then I think that's the benefit of me and also the benefit of you so you can see that nothing's perfect, um, that all you need to achieve is just open up something, try it, trial and error. And I think there's a lot of power in that. Um, so if you learn anything or take any away from this stream besides the amazingness that we're about to do, um, just try. Okay, so we are going to, I think I tagged it up, right? Let's see. Yes, I did. I'm gonna control Z that. So, because I just want one, guys. <laughs> okay, there we go. I'm gonna click on that arrow and we are gonna do a drag animation. And let's see. We want easing. I'm gonna do snap. And we're gonna try this. All right, boom. And now let's see. Okay. Oh, I see you. So we can easily drag that, we can drag that back. Now, in some cases, I know maybe you can like tap. Um, oh, hey, maybe, is that what I have? So let's try that. If we decide, we're gonna have two now. So instead, we have one drag. Let's see if we can do a tap one as well. So we have multiple ways of getting back. We're gonna do the same thing, auto animate. We're gonna do snap easing, 0.4 seconds. Hit our menu, boom, ta da And we're gonna do a little bit more because it is, you guys see where that little edge is, where it, it's too snappy, it's just like, whoo! <laughs> it's too extra. This is a case where snap might not be the best because animation-wise, there is some funkiness. However, with the, what's it call it? With the drag, that was nice and smooth. So we're gonna go into, we're gonna go back. We're gonna click on our little arrow here. Not that one, this one. And we're gonna go back to our tap version. We're gonna go from snap to ease in, ease out. We're gonna see what that looks like. That's a, like that's, that's much more of what I expect. Now, what I want to do is let's play with these little, uh, you know, these little blocks back here. I think it would be super interesting to have them go from um, like full scale to, to come over. I know that's really, I literally just was like, I did Italian style there. Um, and, uh, you know, let me actually show you what I'm, what I'm envisioning. So I'm gonna copy this, um, bring this over here. I'm gonna just move this out of the way so I can see what's popping. I'm gonna pull this here. I wanna make sure it is behind. I'm gonna go to my layers really quick. I'm gonna make sure it's behind everything, um, including the menu here. And we also need to bring the menu over here as well and make sure it goes down. Turn the opacity down. I have to quickly jump into the chat to acknowledge how dope Brandon looks today. How <laughs> to watch this replay, thanks. Much love, Christopher, I appreciate you. All right, let's see, Let, let's, uh, let's see where we get. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take each, hmm. Let's just see what happens if we scale this this way and we scale this up. So I'm gonna do a little bit of extra scale link there. And then we're gonna, where did the other screen go guys? <laughs> did it run away? Where did it go? All right, let's click into here and see where did our group go? All right, perfect. We're gonna pull that back in. I'm gonna center it here. Just make sure that is where it should be. All right, now let's try. So we have this menu, click, oh, oh my God, guys. I wish I had my emojis um, <laughs> ready to turn on, but sadly I had to turn them off because apparently I was lagging too much. Um, all right, that was really good. I like that. Who in the chat likes it? That deserves an explosion, but I think I've done too many explosions today in the chat. But that, that definitely deserves a nice, a good old smirky. Um, you feel me? We're going in. Let's see, Onkar says, uh, 0.4 seconds, wow, that was what I was waiting for. Um, smooth transition, let's see. 
Is part one available to watch now? It is, but wait, stay here. But it is ready to watch. I am very sure Tim, I think, uh, he did link. See, Tim is on the ball. I don't even, I don't even need to do chat, but I, I will because I love y'all. All right, let's just let's see where we are, guys. Let's start from the beginning because there there might have been some people who popped in late. Let's see where we are. Um, let's start from here. We have our nice little. We opened the app. It comes in nice and tidy. We can either pick login or sign up. We're gonna pick login. We then have that was that was a little. Oh, okay. It had a little bounce to it. I was like, well, hold up. Where was our bounce? <laughs> we have our bounce. We click in user email. We have instantaneously um, showcasing as if a user put in their information. We click login. We have our feed screen. We still have a little bit of time to uh, toggle on and off our fire here. We did, oh, we did not do our scroll thing here because um, I showcased it here. However, we will do, um, wait, hold on. Is that where I showcased? No, I showcased it over here. Let me pull this back up. I will do something a little bit different for this, just for the sake of time. But for those of you guys who came in, this is the result that we wanted. We wanted everything up top here to be sticky um, while this portion is easily able to be scrolled through. Um, if you have any questions about that and we still have time towards the end, I'm more than happy to explain that. But for right now, I think what we might do um, is take this back to the full size of its screen, have this in fixed position so that menu stays there. So we can, hold on. It should be a scrolling. You know what? Hmm. Let's see. And Tim, I might be making like a really silly mistake or even Howard or somebody in the chat. What silly mistake am I making? Because I should be able to scroll up and down. Oh, <laughs> I, don't, I was I was like trying to pull it, um, but I can easily scroll up and down with my mouse wheel here. Uh, and we can have General Kenobi. Who's Kyle, who is General Kenobi? Uh, so we can still scroll here. We have our fixed menu here and we have our horizontal sliding information here as well. Okay, cool. And we now have our menu, which is super dope. Um, we can always, we have our sliding animation here, or we can click it and it goes back. One thing that I will try to do, um, it seems, because one thing I don't like is you see how if I drag it, we have that little opaque at the top. I think we can do a little bit better than that. Um, so I'm going to, take this, I'm gonna just pull this down, and just so you guys can see what I'm pulling down, I'm taking this entire grouped screen, and I'm pulling it down so it is parallel with what we have there. I'm gonna turn the opacity down, and again, this is trial and error, I have no clue what this is gonna look like. <laughs> Tim was like, have you tried scrolling? No. Um, see, I knew I was making a silly mistake. I see, I, had, I lied to you guys this morning. I had not finished my first coffee this morning, but it was enough to get me titillated and ready for Adobe Live. I still have like half my coffee right there. Um, thank you, Tim. Always saving the day. Boom. Yeah, I think this was a lot more more natural. Even when I go this way and I pull, it starts like we have that little bit of a corner. <laughs> Renan says this animation stuff is cool, but if you want to be friends with the dev team, um, see, but here's the thing, Renan. With platforms getting way easier, even no-code platforms getting way easier to implement, um, really what we're doing here, as we start to get, because uh, what the animations that we're doing here are really not complex. If we want to talk about complexity, we, we, can, we can get into some complexity. Uh, but developers, um, especially, you know, on, on, and granted, you know, skill level is different all around the world. Um, so I, I'm not, I'm only talking from experience here. But if anybody else has ex specific experience in the chat, that'd actually be really great for me and anybody else who is, um, you know, either new or, uh, um, we haven't done any, there's no like 3D animation here. It's literally um, the simplest form of animation 
of, okay, we're dragging something, we're having, you know, menus pop in, stuff like that. All right. And I think we have enough time. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it looks like a lot of people uh, agree with Renan here. Excuse me. I think we might try, guys, I'm, I'm a little scared, but we like to push. We like to push. So I think what we might try here, ladies and gentlemen, is we're gonna try to do one more page and animate it. All right, we have about 15 minutes. We have 15 minutes. Let's start our engines. All right, I'm gonna open up very quickly. I'm just gonna move this here. I'm gonna open up a folder. I'm gonna get my photos here. And this is another thing I love about Adobe XD. Like I have pure, okay. <laughs> I have purely, I have no images here. And all I need to do is I'm just going to pull in, let's see. Images that I have, I'm bringing them into these boxes. Let's see, popular PlayStation video game. I'm going to put that in there. We have this week's top 10. I'll put in Fall Guys. Out of curiosity, who in the chat has played Fall Guys? If so, do you like it? Do you dig it? All right, so we have this page pretty much complete. Um, I'm gonna make this a little bit darker. So I'm going to go here, I'm gonna turn this up. For some odd reason, it looks as if it's not really doing what it's supposed to be doing. <laughs> All right, let's, let's, let's see what's happening here. So we have here, we have our gradient. Let's go in here. We're gonna turn this up just a little bit, but I'm also gonna go here and I'm gonna add another point and just drag this darkness just a little bit further down so we can still read editor's pick. I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna turn the fill up just a little bit just so we can read what's going on there. Okay, checking time, we have 43, we almost have 10 minutes. Read in the chat really quick to see if there was any questions. Okay, so now we wanna go from here. I'm gonna grab my other menu just for the sake of time because I think I already made something in preparation for this just in case if we got here. All right, so what we're gonna do here is create a new state for our menu. And I'm just gonna steal some of the assets from here. I'm gonna copy these things. Copy, perfect. So what I'm gonna do, just for the sake of, let's see. I'm gonna go to my components very quickly. I'm gonna go to, actually, nah. <laughs> We're gonna do this. All right, we're gonna go in here, we're gonna go to edit. I'm gonna add, okay, this was the original. I'm gonna add a default state. I'm not gonna do a hover, I'm gonna do a new state. Um, we're gonna do, it's not news feed. <laughs> we'll just say other feed. Hopefully we were able to do this within this time frame, guys. I'm gonna paste in the elements from my previous menu. I'm gonna try to line things up here. Okay, have that lined up. I'm going to turn some of this stuff off. Here we go. So that we have default state. I'm gonna turn this off. For default state, I'm gonna turn the opacity of this down and this is going to be center. And turn that off. So we have uh -oh, other state. I messed something up, guys. Let's go back. All right. Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. Click default state, other state. All right, let me Control Z a little bit more. All right, we have other state. We're good there. Default state. Take this. I'm going to pull that down. And I'm going to pull this down. All right, cool. But why does it do that? Why does it take away? the other state. I am confused. Because it should, 
showcase. Let me go with my layers. All right, just making sure we have enough time, guys. Thank you for bearing with, ladies and gentlemen. We are problem solving on the fly here. So we have our base, we have our new button. Let's see what we have in here. news that's our game this is our you know what I need okay I got it I'm just gonna control all Z that I am going to cut this I'm gonna go into our component I'm gonna just click in we have our other state here we have our, I'm just gonna add everything into our default just really quick There we go. Need to make sure I copied and pasted it inside of the component. There we go. So now we have other state. Cool. Default state, we're going to we're gonna fix our stuff here first. One, two, we're gonna pull this down. There we go. Perfect. Yes. I knew it. I had just, the only problem I was having, guys, was that I had not pasted the components that I wanted inside of the actual component. Okay, so this, oh, why, why did I do that again? We were fine, we were good to go. Man, yeah, this is the, this is the struggle bus. We have Renan saying, I might be making the wrong icon transparent. Let's see, we'll, we'll control Z all again. Let's check this, because this is this is how we want it. We hit, This is the default state that we want. But then we go, or this is the other state that we want, but when we go to default, let's see. I'm gonna turn that off. And then we are going to turn off, let's see, this line. All right, let's check this. Ah! Still doing the same thing. All right, we have to th we have to think about this, man. Whew. We might just keep it. We might just keep it simple, guys. Hmm. We'll do that last. Let's do. I don't even think we might have time. We have about. We're gonna have like five minutes after this. So let's see. Let's do this. Let us. When we click this, let's go to prototype. When we click this, we go here. And I do need to fix now. I need to fix this. But guys, this is the challenges. See, when you try to push, some things go wrong. But hey, we learn. Let's see. Boom, we're gonna leave it like that for right now. And. We are going to go in here just for right now. And we are going to turn that off. All right. So we're gonna go to prototype. When we do click this, we're gonna go over here. And. To pull that off we're gonna pull this up we're gonna find our above the fold line whoops let's go to design really quick scrolling vertical viewport height we are going to change to 812 that should be iPhone what iPhone is that iPhone 10 I'm gonna drag this puppy right here. <laughs> yeah, sorry about the menu, guys. I, I'm like, 
I bet I could do it if I wasn't pressured by like the next four minutes. <laughs> but I am. So um, I don't want to not say goodbye to you guys. And I don't want to leave on like something that's not done. So what we're going to do very quickly here is we're going to do exactly what we did with our other program or our other pages. I'm going to take this entire bit. I'm going to group it. Make sure it's one thing. I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna paste it on over to our main board in which we were coming from. I'm gonna turn down the, I don't have to, I don't have to group everything. I'm gonna ungroup this. I'm just going to grab everything but the news bar. I'm gonna copy that, or I'm actually gonna group it. So I have, all of this, boom, boom, boom. Grab the news group. Actually, I'm gonna grab the uh, this bar too. Copy, paste, time check. We have three minutes. Man, where's our status bar? I guess the status bar is behind. I'm gonna pull this. I lied. I'm gonna have to bring. I'm gonna have to bring everything, guys. Boom. Time check. Two minutes. All right. I'm not gonna be able to finish all this, guys. So we're gonna go through what we have. I'm actually just gonna turn the opacity down on this entire thing. So we can walk one more time through this, say goodbye. I wish that we had more time, guys. I wish we did. So I'm gonna go through here, I'm gonna press play. Hopefully it pops up on the screen because I don't see where it's coming. XD, where are you? There we go. It says it's on my screen somewhere, but I don't see it. And now we have two minutes. Guys, where is the XD hiding? Oh, it's on my other screen, like under everything. All right, cool. Now with two minutes left, this is what we have, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna pull this up one more time. All right, we have our load screen, log in. Type in username, password, log in. Smooth animation in which we can horizontal scroll our stories. We can scroll down the page. We can click menu so simply, so smoothly. We can either drag it back into place or we can tap it and it goes right in. So guys, that is what we have for today. I appreciate you guys so much. I wanna thank you guys for coming out. If you guys want more live streaming action with your boy Brandon Gross over to the right or to the left, I don't know which way it is, but you guys can find my Behance profile, where you can follow me and I stream every Friday between 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. EST. So if you want more fun, you want more jokes, you want more delicious Thai, you know what I'm saying? You want, you know, some buttery time with the Thai, come join us there. But I want to thank you guys for coming out. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Tell Howard to join me on Animal Farm. <laughs> on Animal Farm. I still can't remember. All right, guys, until next time. Peace.